Didn't I tell you that the boys are at soccer, uh, Sage is at dance? Yeah, yeah, I'm not here about the kids. Can I come in? Yeah. Is everything <clears throat> okay? Um, yeah, it's fine. Listen, I just wanted you to know that I'm working on a case. Oh, you got your job back. Well, that's great news. No, not with the department. It's a, it's a private matter. Anyway, it's going to take me out of town, so I was wondering maybe the kids could stay with you full-time while I'm gone? Yes, of course. Good. What's the case? I can't talk about it. Jack? Is it dangerous? Carly, I'll fill you in on the details Jack, later. Jack, if the father of my children is in danger, I think I have a right to know. All right, fine. Fine, I'll tell you, but it goes no further, Carly. You hear me? I want you to swear to me. Yes, I swear. What is it? James Stenbeck is back. And he kidnapped Meg. Poor Meg. Paul must be a wreck. Just putting it mildly. Now are Emma and Holden? I haven't told the rest of the family yet, Carly. Don't you think they should know? Well, listen, they just went through this nightmare with Ethan, right? Now, I'd, I'd love to spare them going through another one so soon. Okay, but I don't think they're going to be very happy when they well, find out well, that you kept something I'm like this I'm willing to take them. that risk. Let me tell them something happy later on. All right, well, I won't say anything. Thank you. And how do you plan on getting Meg back? No, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. We already have one of Stenbeck's flunkies in jail. And if we can get him to turn on his boss, maybe we'll all be able to get out of this without anybody getting hurt. Well, I know that I can't talk you out of it, Jack. Please. Promise me that you'll be careful. I will. You know I will. There's one more favor I need to ask you. Anything? Talk to Janet for me. Tell her, tell her I've got some important business that I'm working on, and, and I'm going to be out of town for a while, okay? Oh, no, Jack. No way. the middle of your relationship with James. It's not a relationship, Carly. We're barely seeing each other. Then tell her yourself. <laughs> if I tell her, she's going to ask me questions that I can't answer. You are really a piece of work, you know that? You have the guts to go after someone like James Stenbeck. <laughs> but you, you don't have the guts to sit down and talk to the woman that you've been, been sharing a bed with okay, for okay, how long okay, now? Okay, listen, I've got to concentrate on Meg. If I tell, if I tell Janet what I'm doing, she's not going to be able to keep the secret. I don't want to put her in that position. Well, you're right about that. She doesn't seem like the type to be able to keep a secret. So, will you do me this favor? You're going to owe me. Big time. You know that, don't you? Yes. And I'll make it up to you, I promise. Mm. Kiss the kids for me. Okay, Jack. Take care of yourself. Where have you been? Taking care of some personal business. Has Coburn flipped yet? Bonnie's got him in there, but she's not going to get anything out of him. Right, give her some time. Time. My father's probably dragged Meg halfway to Thailand by now. Time's something we don't have. Come in. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, Janet, can I speak with you privately, please? Uh, sure, of course. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. I have a message from Jack. He got some freelance work, some PI stuff. He uh, just wanted me to let you know that he might be out of town for a few days. And he couldn't tell me this himself? Well, he had to leave sort of suddenly, so I don't think he had time. Oh, but he had time to tell you. We have the children, you know. He, he had to tell me. Oh, come on, Carly. That's baloney. Okay, don't shoot the No, messenger. I'm not mad at you, OK? I'm mad at Jack. And I'm not going to let him get away with this. Everything all right out there? Hi, yes. <clears throat> yeah, it's all good. I'll see you later. Bye. I was just leaving. Take care. You know, I really should just uh, go talk to her. You don't mind, do you? Go, go ahead. Carly. Don't go. Not yet. Well, look who 
you still here? Aren't I lucky to grab you away from some very important business that makes you so very, very busy Janet, that you couldn't I need you to understand no, something, No, I need okay? you to understand something, okay? You owe me some respect, Jack. Some respect and common courtesy. You're right, I do. I won't be long. Look, I know you're working on something really big. But to send your ex-wife to pull me in, are you trying to let me down easy? I'm sorry, I'm sorry if it seemed insensitive. I, I didn't mean to hurt you, Janet. Either you're lying to me or you're lying to yourself. Because the truth is, Carly is still your home base. Your word in a store, so to speak. And she always will be. I just figured that you'd rather hear it from me than get the news third hand. It's okay, Holden. I can see for myself that you and Lily are on your way back to something. And that's good. If you're happy, then I'm happy. Our problems, they just seem so insignificant after almost losing Ethan. Right. Yes, a, uh, a crisis definitely brings people closer. The question is, what happens when the crisis is over? So I just wanted to let you know that uh, Lily and I, we decided that well, we're going to give it another shot, not only for ourselves, but for our kids. And I wanted you to know that. You and Lily have been together practically your entire lives, and I I never wanted that to end, Holden, not on my account. You know, you got me through one of the hardest, hardest times of my life, and I will never, ever be able to thank you for that. You just did. I, uh, I wish you and Lily the very best. so sure about that, Jack. Why? Because things were going really well between the two of us until I made that stupid mistake of helping Bradley destroy evidence. And then everything changed. And I'm not saying that you should have shrugged it off or that you should have forgiven me, but the one thing I wish you hadn't done was go back to your comfort zone. And that's part Okay, I'm not going to deny that I was angry with what you did. It was a huge part of my life that was impacted by that. I am no longer a detective, and I need to deal with that. I know, and I hate the fact, I hate myself that you have to no, go through this. hate yourself. I don't want you to hate yourself. I just need space to deal with the changes in my life. I'm not punishing you, it's just, I need to work through some things. And I'm sorry if it feels like I'm neglecting you. I'm not, it's just, it's just, it's all I can give right now. I understand. I'm an all-or-nothing kind of girl. 